Now that we've talked about proof methods in the previous couple of days, this time we're going to actually answer this problem using the proof method. So uh, all those 10 bases that we've been using, we're going to do a little bit differently. So and in unit 1, lesson 6, on your page 19 and 20, so let's talk about number 1. There are 359 cars and 245 trucks in the parking garage. How many vehicles are in the garage? So using the proof method, don't forget the big boxes equal 100, the lines equal 10, and the dots equal 1. Keep that in mind because how many hunters do we have here? We have three. So we're going to make three big boxes. One, two, three. How many tens do we have? We have five. One, two, three, four, five. And how many ones do we have? We have nine. Let me prove that. Back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we're going to go to the next one. It's 245. So the hundreds again is two. So we have two big boxes. How many tens do we have? We have four. One, two, three, four. And how many ones do we have? This time we have five. One, two, three, four, five. Now what you have to do is you have to kind of add them all up, starting from this side and working your way. So starting from the right and working backwards. So we want to count. So to get to the tens, we need ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That right there is one ten. And now we'll move over to there and we'll put a new ten there. Now how many ones do we have left? One, two, three, four. So we're going to put a big old four down there. Then how many tens make a hundred? Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So all this is now going to move over to there and make a new box. So how many tens do we have left outside the box? Zero. Then how many hundreds do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So your answer would be 604. And this is cars. And that's how you use the proof method to solve your problem. Let's do the same thing for number two in your textbook on page 19. We'll keep the key down there. We won't change that up. The creepy caller exhibits at the Science Museum 693 spiders. So 693. And 1,592 centipedes. Uh oh. Let's erase that. 1,592 centipedes. Don't forget our count of it. We have to use our proof drawing to answer that problem. Let me get this board fixed. There we go. So first of all, let's start off with the top one, the creepy crawlers at the science museum. We have 693 spiders, so we need six 100 blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Then we need then we need nine tens. One, let's make them smaller now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then three ones. One, two, three. Then our next one, we have a new number. We have a thousand. A thousand is a little bit different. So one thousand is going to be a huge. It looks like the tens, but it's like a huge, huge ten. And then we have five one hundreds. Nine tens. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then two ones. One, two. So again, all we're going to do is go ahead and add up all that good information. And the first thing we always start with the ones. We have one, two, three, four, five. We don't have enough to make a ten, so we just have a five. We can go ahead and put the five underneath the one spot. But how many tens we got? We got a lot of them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a new one hundred. So we'll put a new one hundred right there. So then what do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can go ahead and put an eight there. And since we moved that over there, kind of give you an idea. You can kind of erase it and say goodbye to it. And how many hundreds do we have? How many hundreds take to make a thousand? Remember that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right there, we'll make a new thousand. So we're going to jump it over there and make a new big box. How many do we have left? One, two. So how many thousands do we have? One, two. Do not forget your comma. And this problem says how many spiders and centipedes are in all? We can just say um, insects. And be complete. I want you to go ahead and try number three and four using that same method, the same show proof method on both of those. But let's flip our attention over to number 20, page 20, I'm sorry. And we have a little penguin on that page. And that penguin has a problem. He thinks he did it right, but he can't figure out what happened. He says, Dear math students, today I found the answer to 163 plus 78, but I don't know if I added correctly. Please look at my work. Is my answer right? If not, please correct my work and tell me what I did wrong. So let's look at that. And don't worry, we're not doing show proof method. We're just going to figure out if the penguin is right or wrong. It's 168. But look how they have it written. And the penguin has plus 78. That's exactly how it has written. And it came out to 948. And if you look, the penguin did the below method. Just so you know, because it has a 1 down here. But what did he do wrong? Because I don't see that answer being incorrect. I want you to go ahead and try to figure that part out tonight. What did the penguin do wrong? But if we look at number 5, we might figure it out. It says 179 plus 38. Look how they have it written in the book. What you need to do is you need to put your numbers up and down. So do 179 plus 38. Make sure you line them up correctly. The ones in the one spot, the tens in the ten spot, and the hundreds in the hundred spot. Add these together. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17. Carry your one, any method you want to do, doesn't matter. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Don't forget the one up there. Makes it 11. Carry your one. 1 plus 1, a simple 2. And there's your new answer. Did the penguin do that? Look at that. Go ahead and do the penguin problem. Do number 6 and 7 on your own tonight and you'll be completed and turn it in tomorrow. Now, you just been flipped.